In this sixth and final video from the Clean Technology series, we summarise the key areas covered in the lecture on communicating or research and introduce the associated workshop on evaluating posters. Researchers encounter a wide range of different settings in which they must communicate their work using different formats and to different audiences. That ranges from peer-reviewed scientific papers, through research talks and conference posters, to public engagement activities or science writing for the general public. We'll explore different ways of communicating your research with a particular focus on how to produce a good poster for your assessment. When might you be asked to create a poster? Typically at academic conferences, trade gatherings or various other types of events where lots of people want to display their work and have opportunities to discuss. Poster sessions are a mainstay of academic conferences. There are limited slots available for people to give oral presentations so poster sessions allow many times more people to be able to present their work. Poster sessions can have many hundred posters on display simultaneously and allow visitors to browse the selection of posters, usually arranged in themes, and find out about work that is of interest to them. Providing a visually attractive, clear and enticing summary of your work will draw people to read it in more detail and, if you're stood with your poster, should prompt people to engage in discussion with you about your work. This is a great way to have discussions that improve your work, to strike up collaborations with your contacts, and even to attract job offers. At most conference poster sessions, a mildly interested passing person, your typical audience, will spend perhaps three seconds deciding if your poster is interesting enough for a closer look then, if they do, another 30 seconds scanning across your poster to learn the main messages. Consider what the most important pieces of information you wish to convey are and how to make your poster simple to read at a glance for an informative overview. We recommend that you use Microsoft PowerPoint, available on the university's computers, to create your poster, although you can of course use other graphical or presentation software. Remember, you are required to have your poster printed at A2 size and in landscape format, in other words, with the short edge the height and the long edge the width. You should try printing draft versions of your poster at A4, your text should be clearly visible scaled to this size if it is to be large enough to be able to read from approximately one metre distance when displayed at A2. A few weeks after this lecture and workshop, you will present your printed poster in a conference style poster session to fellow students and staff, explaining your poster and answering questions as would be done in a typical academic conference. In that conference style poster session, students taking this as a final year undergraduate module will also be required to make written reflections on three of your fellow students' posters for submission. Students taking this as a postgraduate module will, instead of the written reflections, have a focused session immediately following the main conference at which they make a short presentation on their poster and then discuss with staff. The poster conference is your opportunity to see what your poster looks like full size and in context. The conference style brief discussions will let you judge how effective your poster is as a communication tool and what parts of it you could improve. We recommend you are able to give a short 30 second verbal summary of a poster. This is a vital tool in real life poster events to engage people in discussing your work further. You will then have one further week to make changes to your poster before submitting a final version electronically for summative assessment and your final grade. Today's workshop is a chance for you to receive feedback on your draft poster and to learn from what other students have done. This will help you improve your poster in time for the formal poster presentation session a few weeks later. We will have full-size printed examples of previous year's completed student posters for you to look at. You should come to the workshop with a draft of your own poster. Ideally, you will have printed one or more copies of this scale to A4. We will discuss and agree criteria for evaluating good posters as a class and split into small groups to evaluate your own posters with reference to those criteria, helping each other find ways to improve.